Thank you for joining us today as we walk through God's promises in the Bible. And today's promise is that God gives us His Holy Spirit as a guarantee of a future inheritance that is ours. And this comes uh, all throughout the Bible, but really in Ephesians 1, 13 and 14, it, it really lays this out clearly. And this is what it says. And now you have heard the truth, that the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he purchased us to be his own people. He did this so that we would praise and glorify him. This is a theme that stretches out through the whole Bible that God has is going to make for himself a people where he can dwell, where his full glory and presence and, pr and praise could be experienced. It's this, this perfected uh, state. We see it in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve dwelling, God coming and walking and being present with them, and being glorified to them. We see it in Israel through the, through the temple and how God's presence went with them and they could experience and know that, that they were God's people and God would be with his people. But fully and finally, this promise was made, um, God came through on this promise through Jesus Christ. And now through Jesus Christ, when we believe in him, each of us can experience the presence of God walking with us, being revealed to us. But the beauty of this experience isn't the experience in and of itself as, as final, but it, there's a future reality where we will experience uh, being God's people and experience an inheritance of glory and of presence of God um, that was promised from the very beginning and is still yet to come. So I want you to think back on a time where you experienced God in any way. Uh, maybe this felt like God's presence. Uh, maybe this is back to when you first kind of put your faith in, in Christ or experienced something about that. And this, these are the moments where we need, we need to hold on to. And we need to realize that if we've ever experienced anything good, that that is a taste of God's future glory that he has promised to us and that we get to ex experience because through Jesus, um, that's our inheritance as children of God, that we would experience God's fullness, we would inherit that um, ultimately, even beyond death. So whatever you're going through today, I hope that you can remind yourself of any experience you've had of the Holy Spirit, or you can invite the Holy Spirit uh, to be in your life. You can put your faith in Jesus Christ to experience this future glory that that is promised to us and that we would know that we would not give up we would not be discouraged in these times but we would hold on to those foretastes to the, that down payment to that uh, that guarantee that's been given to us as we look for and wait and anticipate um, the full glory that that is to be revealed and uh, I hope that gives you hope today I hope that um, you can experience that in new ways and you can remind yourself of those experiences. So God bless you and hold on to the promises of God in your life.